So I have started some of these already and basically I, no different than if I was going to clip my hair. I'm starting from the back and working my way up to the front. Okay, so. Uh, definitely was in desperate need to do my hair. You can see, so. This needs to be retwisted, but I, a long time ago, years ago, was not a big fan of the, putting the clips in my hair and sitting under the dryer. And as my hair got longer, it got harder for it to dry under the dryer. So I would put clips in my hair. I would do my hair at night, sleep with the clips and then take them out. And that's painful. I hate it. I don't like to put things in my, in my hair that press into my scalp. I don't even use hair pins because I just don't like the way they feel. So I started to find different ways to do my hair after washing, conditioning, conditioning and um, retwisting it. Styles that I could just put it directly into. So sometimes I will braid it up. Sometimes I still do use clips, but not often. And so this was a style that I really liked, especially because my hair is so long now and it gives me a break from the length. And I feel tempted to cut my hair. <laughs> the extra frustrating days when it gets stuck in the car door or in the, at night it's wrapped around my neck or stuck under my arm. So, style I can keep or I can put in my hair after washing, retwisting without having to sit under a dryer. And dry like this, obviously I can keep it in this style for however long I want and you know take it out and it'll be curly so it's kind of like 2001. It does take long. I will say that this is the this is a hairstyle that out of all the ways that I've done my hair probably takes the longest, but I've done it quite a few times now, so I've gotten much quicker. And it's not much to it if you can see. So normally when I wear this style, people always say, oh, you have pipe cleaners in your hair. And I say, no, no pipe cleaners. And they say, oh, you cut your hair. And I say, no, didn't cut my hair. And then it's just total confusion. <laughs> like, I don't understand. My longest locks come down like to my butt. So they're pretty long. And so for people to see this length, they are confused. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. You can see. And just so you know, I have washed my hair, conditioned. I have um, oiled my scalp. Um, I use argan oil and sometimes coconut oil. Um, I also use sulfur eight because I have very, very dry scalp. Um, and I also use a new conditioner. This, which was, it smells so good. And it's like, like really thick, really creamy. And you can see it's, well, it's turned around for you guys, but I'll put the link in the description box. My hair is so soft right now. And it, like I said, it smells so good. So this is gonna be a keeper. I'm gonna keep using that. Um, I really like that. But um, yeah, so I've already washed, conditioned, oiled my scalp. Um, like I said, I also use sulfur A because my scalp is so dry. Um, so I've already done those things off camera. 
And um, now I'm just gonna show you how I do this. I'm also using the um, Jamaica, Jamaican um, Mango and Lime um, Locking Gel. This is not typically what I use, but what I normally use, they do not have. So this is what I have for now. Okay, so I'm just taking a small amount. Small. This might actually be too much because this is not one of my skinnier locks. So small amount. I don't need any clips. Sometimes I will use a clip just to clip it down and hold it in place, but I don't really need that. So I'm just twisting it in clockwise. Of course, that's how my locks were initially started. And actually, yeah, that's right. So what takes the longest here is getting the length right at which you're gonna sort of fold it. So you wanna have, and, and I think that when I first started doing these, that's what took me the longest was trying to figure out at what point to sort of create the loop. So at this point, I'm a little bit better at it, but sometimes not always. I think that's a good enough. It's almost like in thirds, if you can see. So this almost is the same length as that part. And then I just put my finger in the middle and I just start to twist it. Uh, and I'm just holding this here because it helps me to hold the, the root in place and then I'm just twisting it. And then what you wanna do is take this excess part of your lock and fold it in the opposite or twist it in the opposite direction of the this part, of this twisted part. And you're just gonna go around. And the reason why you're going in the opposite direction is because this twist will get tighter as you twist it that way. And you're gonna use your finger to create the loop, but you don't want the loop to stay this big. So you're just gonna twist in, twist in, twist in. Sometimes you get to this point and you're like, oh crap, it's not long enough to cover this loop part or it's too long. And so you can just kind of push it up, bunch it up, or you may have to start over again. So it just depends. So like I said, I've done this Quite a few times so I've gotten a little bit better at estimating and then what you're gonna do is just take this part of your lock and I said earlier or a second ago you don't want the loop to be as big as your finger because you want this to stay secure in the loop so I take my finger out and I kind of just twist it with my tips tips of my finger and then I'm gonna push that through. Now, normally I have just a little bit of something left and then I just take that and I just twist it around. Keeps it even more secure, I think. And that's it. Now this could be quicker if you do more than one together. For sure, because otherwise it's gonna be 
lengthy time period to do your hair. So don't start this hairstyle if you don't have the time. Now, if I, I guess if I wanted to not have them in my face as much, I could twist them going backwards, but I kind of like the look of them being fall into the front, so that's how I do it. as tight or as loose as you want and because I just washed my hair and obviously did not put clips in it or anything like that and it was it's still kind of damp I'm twisting mine tighter but if your hair is already done like you could be doing this style without it being wet so you don't necessarily meaning like you may not be doing this style to retwist your hair. You may just be doing the, the hairstyle. So in that case, you probably wouldn't have to do it as tight. My last one, I think. Once you get used to how much hair you need to have to wrap around it, then it, like I said, it goes quicker. And And you can do these as tight or as loose as you need to. So you see mine is a little bit too long. So I'm gonna just push them up. That way I can get it tighter. So it's not too long to get tucked through this. All the trouble. All the trouble. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Share and subscribe to Hanging on My Hanger. Also, follow us on Instagram. Tag us in your favorite new hairstyle photo and get a shout out in our next video. See you next time.